Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry if you hear a little kid going all through it. That's my little girl, of course. But I had to talk about this because this is quite a confusing report in and of itself. So this report deals with stored cross-site scripting in slash admin slash product and admin slash collections. But you'll see soon that the steps to reproduce might be a little bit confusing and I'll show you guys as well how to write them better. So as you catch them here, notice that they have changed their policy to accept rich text editor based cross site scripting issues as well. And he got to testing. What they found was that an attacker could achieve stored XSS by putting a payload in the HTML editor and saving the contents, storing malicious code to be executed on subsequent page loads. So what they mean by that is, of course, we can read into that a little bit more. As you can see, Ash Ketchum did catch them all. He, catched this, he caught this vulnerability. But on the page for hacker1.com slash Shopify, he noticed that two things were now in scope. XSS on rich text editor, and it was on two different endpoints, of course. So he went to work, and on the slash admin slash product page, he found his first cross-site scripting. It says to go to the link to enter the product, click add product, add anything in the title, and on the right side corner in the description, click on show HTML. That is the description here. Here we're going to show HTML, and then we're going to add the payloads below, which is like a double payload. I don't really know why this happens or why this is required, but it's double, uh, double image that pops up. Honestly, I think this might be a little bit of a copy paste as well because this wasn't really needed. This was, this was of course needed, but he didn't need to duplicate that. And you'll see as well in here, like we have those things in here that you see your double quote, your greater than sign and your square bracket. They are in here as well. They are displayed. So it means that they probably weren't necessary. Now I can't fully confirm that, but it might be a little bit confusing. So what you can do there is, of course, test really what your payload really has to be like, your minimum payload to get through or whatever. Just copy and pasting like this, I don't like it. Also, you can try to steal something properly and try to smuggle out the cookies. There are, of course, ways to do that, like making XHR requests, like make, like loading a broken image with the different parameters, etc. So there's always more that you can do here than just popping up an alert. On the admin slash collections, he has about the same vulnerability as you can see, cross that scripting attack will get triggered twice. And you can already see it in here if we watch his video as well. So if we watch the pop-up for the specific tag come, there we go. You can see it once, you can see it twice. As you can see, it's always happening twice. So I'm not sure he should have duplicated that parameter. Does it really matter? No, but it, it just um, shows that the way you understand these vulnerabilities. Not saying our dear friend didn't understand them, by the way. Just saying that if you can demonstrate proper uses of cross-site scripting and actually steal cookies with a attack vector that you crafted, you're gonna be much ahead of the rest. Um, as you can see, our friend requested an update. It turns out that they were working Monday through Friday, 5, 9 to 5. Um, there was a fix, of course. And later on, on admin slash gift cards slash products, another cross-site scripting was found. And as you can see here, a bounty of $5,300 was awarded for this issue. So a little bit of tentativeness caught this hacker an amazing bounty of $5,300, which is well deserved in my opinion. They gave an attack complex TFL, privilege required, no. Uh, user interaction requires victim to perform some action, yes, of course, because it needs to be stored first. And the victim needs to navigate toward that page. Scope you, can the attacker impact a separate service? Nope. Uh, it's the user, of course, confidentiality is L, how much data should could be accessed, most or all. Uh, how much of Spotify is impacted? Some, of course, it's not every single uh, parameter. Integrity L. How much data should be changed most of all most or all cases and how much of spotify is impacted again some with the availability of and there are no service level disruptions there 
that is a great vulnerability and well reported thank you very much i really appreciate it and thanks very much for h1 disclosed publicly disclosed things like these they tweet out a few of these reports every single day and i always look forward to reading them thank you very much my friends i hope i'll see you in the next one bye amazing hacker